I was never really like sending out beats or anything. I was just uploading them and like it just happened, you know. People actually got the beats from YouTube and Beatstars. Most of producers actually want nowadays. They wanna go straight to the top. I think you gotta really like start from the bottom, you know. What's up guys, it's Gentle Beats. I'm from Germany, out here in Miami, together with Beatstars and Sony at the Hitmaker Week. I started making beats back in 2020, just opening up FL Studio, you know, the trial version. Not really making beats, just like figuring out how stuff actually works, not really making beats. And then like, I actually enjoyed making it. I just stick to it. 2022 is when I was really like, okay, let's go crazy with this. I was not having any days off since then actually, and just like kept doing it, like making beats every day, nonstop and just grinding. Seeing all these people make it big from nothing. Everyone like puts their own style to it, adjusts to it and come from the bottom, you know, like to just create something. I was just making beats, you know, I was not really like focusing on making like the Florida sound or like the Atlanta sound. I was just like making beats and then turned out people in Florida, they just fuck with it the most and... But I can take all the credit myself, you know, like other producers, they also like put their sauce into it and yeah, there's nothing special behind it actually. I've been doing everything remotely from Germany, like just making beats, uploading them to YouTube first. Beatstars was just a thing to everyone uploading beats to YouTube use Beatstars, you know, because it's just a good way to grow, you know, to also network with other producers. Back then it was like you could only upload 10 beats, you know, and after that you had to pay for a subscription. I uploaded 10 beats and that's when I made my first sale actually. And then I was like, okay, let me check out Beatstars, like let me get more into depth, you know, like Beatstars done a lot for me. It's just a great platform, like in general, all the opportunities, not just for selling beats, but like also like connecting with other producers and yeah, everything. There's no sauce behind it, you know, just keep going, keep grinding and don't overthink it actually, because people say like, I, I created my own sound and stuff, but I was just making beats, you know, I wasn't really like trying to find the secret sauce or anything. Like I was just making beats, I was grinding and by time it just it just worked out so yes like just stick to it don't stop you can't lose like you can only stop always keep going and to not just make beats but also like try and focus and grow your sound like not just make beats you also gotta like okay what can i do better like is it the mixing or is it the arrangement like just don't overthink as i said but you also gotta like try and grow it gives you a lot of opportunities, you know, and actually on Beatstars, a lot of producers reach out to you, like, because you can chat directly on Beatstars and they reach out to you. They want you to, like, send loops or you can send loops to them. They will send loops to you, you know, that's that's how you work. A lot of placements actually, like, happen through collabs and collabing is the key, like, actually, because you will get creative again. Like, sometimes you got beat block and collaborating will, will help fix that. And yeah, the biggest by Dilo and Back then it wasn't big, I think it was just like in Florida. Over time I've seen it everywhere and I don't even know how to explain, you know, like it just happened and there was nothing special actually, like it wasn't a special beat, it was actually a simple beat. They say you and Dilo are like Zayn Gucci, uh, because like they hit me up, I'm gonna be like, what beats you need? And they're like, just the ones you make for Dilo, you know, like when they hit me up, like they, they think of Dilo, I think, you know, because that's when the gentle beats take actually people hear the tag, you know, it's just like from the Dilo songs mainly. And I think Dilo actually was the one to like really fit to my sound, you know. Being a member of the Beatsas community, like also the marketplace and everything was just like, why not sign up for Beatsas Publishing if I'm like already a member of Beatstars and I was happy with everything else. So I've been getting a lot of help since then. And this is actually my first time out here now. So yeah, it's definitely worth it. I wouldn't be able to do a lot of that stuff on my own. So yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy. I just stick to what I've been doing back then because it's been working out. So I'm gonna just stick to it and nothing special, you know, just keep going, keep grinding. I wasn't aware of everything, you know, like how big everything is over here. I was never really like sending out beats or anything, you know, I was just uploading them and like it just happened. People actually got the beats from YouTube and Beatstars and I wasn't really focusing on like getting placements, you know, and the ones with Dilo actually like Dilo wasn't big back then, you know, so I think that's what most of producers actually want nowadays. Like they want to go straight to the top, you know, but I think you got to really like start from the bottom, you know.